The starry sky, for thousands of years of human evolution, it was the greatest show the universe could give. At all times, after sunsets, people looked up to the sky and saw an immense, infinite sea of stars. The starry sky was an essential part of people's lives. The sprays of stars in their eyes turned into constellations. Each one of them was named as well as the stars were. In human minds uh, there sprang the images of fabled creatures and legendary heroes. Cassiopeia and Andromeda, Hercules and Perseus, Phoenix and Monoceros, Ursa Major and Ursa Minor, and dozens of others leisurely wander the skies year after year. Civilization has given people everything they could ever want. Fast cars, light to the houses, comfort and warmth. But instead it took away the starry sky. One can gaze into the night sky for a long time on a street of some medium-sized city and only see two or three little flickers which had carried their faint whiff of light through the smog and light pollution. Right, this term exists, and nowadays it's a serious problem. Light pollution is probably the biggest and the most reliable sign of humanity's domination on the planet Earth. The scale of the light pollution is staggering. 85% of the sky in the EU countries is light polluted. It means it's illuminated at 55%. This proportion is 62% in the USA and 98.2% in Japan. In countries such as Austria, Germany or Denmark, the deep night sky is virtually invisible. According to scientific research, the night sky over the European Union is 85% brighter than it should be. Instead of 2,500 stars, which could be observed in the night sky, residents of megapolises can only spot a few dozen of the brightest ones. And what is worse, this trend is growing persistently today. The reason for this phenomenon is the light pollution of the atmosphere. The terrestrial sources of light, primarily urban illumination, interfere with the light of the stars and further disperse it. The sky glow is a resulting phenomenon. Artificial light, while being upward projected, scatters around in particles. There is natural light pollution and man-made light pollution. Natural light pollution includes the starlight dispersion by galaxies. At northern latitudes it can also be observed as aurora polaris. More damaging is ambient light caused by humanity itself. Most of the time it is the incorrect lighting of buildings, architectural monuments and roads. One might suggest that such a triumph of civilization as elimination could only be beneficial. It turns out that the problem is not as simple as that. The high levels of light pollution alter human biorhythms, which used to be closely connected to distinct day and night cycles. This leads to a number of disorders in the human body. People suffer from insomnia, anxiety and accompanying diseases. 
but not humans only feel the impact of light pollution. Animals are also affected, especially the nocturnal ones. Changing ways of hunting, breeding and methods of camouflage mean that animals are forced to leave their common habitats, which become unsuitable for living. In plants, light pollution leads to a change in photosynthesis time and a shift in the vegetation period. In order to preserve the beauty of the night sky, the International Dark Sky Association was established. The association involves hundreds of parks in the northern and southern Americas, Europe and Asia. The Transcarpathian Dark Sky Park was created in 2016. The regional state administration, Ushgorod National University, a public organization institute for development of the Carpathian region, and the Uzhansky National Park signed a memorandum to create this Dark Sky Park within the boundaries of the Uzhansky National Park and adjacent territories. The Transcarpathian Dark Sky Park was created in order to inform both the general public and astronomy experts about the problems of light pollution of the night sky and protect the natural environment. The park area allows anyone interested to conduct astronomical observation on its light pollution-free territory, contributes to the promotion of astronomy among children and young people, and the development of astro-tourism in the Transcarpathian region. The Transcarpathian Dark Sky Park, 463 square kilometers, includes the territory of the Uzhansky National Nature Park, 392 square kilometers, and the designated areas in the cadastral districts of the villages Suhi, Tihi, Vusni, Luta, Ruski Mochar, and part of Veliki Berezny. In 2016, the East Carpathian Dark Sky 3 Park was established in the Polonina Dark Sky Park in Slovakia, the Beshady Starry Park in Poland, and the Transcarpathian Dark Sky Park in Ukraine. It became the first in the world to be located in the territory of three countries. As part of the project, an educational and tourist trail called Carpathian Stellar Path was created in the Transcarpathian Dark Sky Park. The trail is two kilometers long and runs along the Yavernik Ridge. The goal of establishing the route was to get the locals and the astro-tourists to the beauty of Eastern Carpathians, the beauty of the starry sky in its natural state of being. The Carpathian Stellar Pass starts in the Yavernik tourist shelter. The visitors are provided with guidelines to assist in positioning the stars in the sky. It is also planned to install a stationary telescope there. The road is unique because throughout its length the light pollution is kept as low as possible and visitors have the opportunity to experience the sky in all its beauty. Amateur astrophotographers will especially appreciate it.
human progress is obviously impossible to halt. Accessibility of energy and desire to make lives more comfortable shall take people far and farther away from nature's primordial form. But such islands of untamed nature with pure and clear sky will still give people a chance to appreciate the magnificence of the entire world and feel one with the universe on a tiny globe of Earth near the Sun in the Orion arm, the Milky Way galaxy.